us unexpected give us love dancing hard with us then and now and i hope we bb this is gonna be a lot of fun i hope so it is gonna be a lot of fun hi guys and welcome back to delicious mew today we're gonna be doing something a little bit different i'm not gonna be talking about myself i'm sitting here with one of the most stylish men in south africa and he's not just stylish, he is a voiceover artist, he's a model, he's an entrepreneur, he's an MC, he's a writer, TV personality, I could go on. <laughs> like, what doesn't he do? But here to answer your questions is the one and only Mr. Masefo Mabonya. <laughs> How are you? Hi, 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 hi. <laughs> Um, thank you for making time to come and chat with us. Thanks for having me. Thanks for coming. You look great. Thank um, you. And thanks for the joy of your dimples. Oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> the joy of your dimples as well. <laughs> um, so the question is, what don't you do? There's a lot of things I don't do. Um, you know, I just like to focus as much as my potential on different parts of my field because I love everything involved in my field. But... Um, yeah, I've, I've always been taught to get involved in as many things as I can since I was a small kid. So um, I've always tried to be as active as possible and try out new things. So um, there's a lot that I do do, but there's um, also quite a bit that I don't do, of course. Yeah, I mean, um, there's some things that would probably surprise you that I do do. But, um, <clears throat> but in terms of my field, um, there's very little that I don't do. Okay. Well, I'm, I follow you on Instagram, obviously. Okay. Um, and I saw we have a great picture together on Instagram. Yeah, have. yeah. Um, thank you. <laughs> um, I, I saw that you have a movie coming out. Yes, um, I actually have a film that I'm in right now that's out. Um, it was at um, Cannes Film Festival a few weeks ago. Now it's at LA Film Fest. Um, mm -hmm. That's called The Yonder. I have yeah, a small that's... role in that. But the main film I'm looking forward to is uh, the one that I play the lead in, which is a romantic comedy called Tommy Sweet Something. The one that's coming out in September. Right? Coming out in September, September okay. the 4th. Please go out and watch that. Right. Um, and it, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's going to be absolutely awesome. It's directed by Akino Motoso, an amazing director. Um, cast has people such as Tembi Siete, um, Kakasura Dicha, Thomas Kumede, um, Tisue Zitrubu. Um, and Disa Badil and my co-lead, um, who's the wonderful Nomza Mombata. So, I saw her. Yeah. She's like so gorgeous. Mm. Is it going to be like a new metro? Is it going to be open? Like in the... um, I'm not exactly sure which cinemas, but it's going to be nationwide. Yeah. Um, it, it, um, one of the big cinema houses, um, if not both. And um, yeah, it's very vital that we get many people going out on that first weekend. So that because that determines whether we'll be. Um, on circuit for a while, so we're hoping that everyone backs it and uh, we get a lot of people going out to see the movie. Yeah, we'll show, we'll tell our, since you've already told our yeah, viewers, yeah. But we'll, we'll, we'll keep on emphasizing. Tell me, sweet and something. Watch the yeah. Movie. Okay. Um, so you said something about you. You do a lot of sports. Is that how you keep fit? Um, yeah, I'm not a gym person um, yeah, at I'm all. Not to actually go to the gym. No, I'm not a gym person. I'm not the whole go to the gym, lift up weights. I hardly ever find selfies, time to exercise. No, I hate selfies <laughs> actually. Um, <laughs> um, I hardly find time to actually go to the gym. Uh -huh. um, so I don't go at all, pretty much. Um, my form of fitness is playing social soccer with friends, um, go for the odd swim or go for a run, um, or maybe, you know. I don't know, do some push-ups at home or something. But otherwise, I'm not the, you know, like the gym, gym bunny type. So, yeah, people people think think I am. So, no, I'm not. <laughs> okay, too bad for the ladies who might want to see you at the gym. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes. So looking good is very important. Is, is it very important to you, looking good? Um, or did you just, did you just come like Feeling it? good okay. is very important. And I think if I really feel good, then the other comes with it if that makes sense you know I think anyone who really feels good about themselves um, will in turn actually end up looking good I think it's a it's an organic thing mm -hmm. um, I've always just done my own thing and what's been comfortable for me and I guess I've just been lucky that people have um, found it interesting and I've always been kind of um, not weirded out initially it was kind of weird but um, sort of surprised that uh, there's so much attention um, towards the way I dress myself because I'm like, well, that's what everyone else should be able to do, dress themselves, yeah. you know. So do you dress but yourself in the morning? Yeah, yeah, yeah of course I do. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's always like a last minute thing. I always find that when it's not um, planned and it's not like something that's done too hard, then it will 
Um, okay. Yeah, we'll just be. You look like you you're trying a hot a lot less harder, you know. Yeah. Um, and I think the the whole less is more thing is applicable when it comes to something like style and being yourself. Because if you are trying too hard, people will be able to yeah, to like, see that. Why are you trying so hard? Mm. And I, I see that you're also affiliated with a lot of brands, like fashion brands. Yeah. Um, well, I guess from being in the fashion industry, um, <laughs> um, from modeling, I've been very um, fortunate to have gotten some sort of um, recognition. And now with um, social media and with people in general, I've managed to garner some sort of influence where brands have um, relied on me to be um, their man. I'm just about to um, be an ambassador for Tom Ford uh, South Africa Hi. Eyewear, Get um, out. which is actually Come the first on. time I'm telling anyone. So, oh, okay. so there's Thank a... You. Um, an exclusive <laughs> happening here, um, uh, <laughs> and what I also thought about, I'm most about to start a big campaign with um, Woolwoods as well. So um, you know, um, got my boy Pharrell on there. You know, I put him on. I put him <laughs> on. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> We're not like that. Um, no, Pharrell yeah, Williams is a part boy. of that campaign as well. <laughs> uh, but you know, Yo, man, I don't, I, I don't even know. You know, it's actually quite funny. I've, I've collected hats for a number of years now. I've got a ton of hats. Yeah. Um, and I've recently fallen in love with a lot of um, Simon and Mary hats. And now, whenever I wear a hat for the last two, the last year or so, whenever I've worn a hat, people have called it the Pharrell hat. And I'm just like, it's not but what it I is. I was like, I've, I've been wearing hats. <laughs> um, but he's definitely like put it on. But I mean, he wears the like, r like that outrageous Vivian Westwood one, which is his thing, you know, and yeah. that's and that's dope. And I um I prefer them with like a, a whole bunch of different like character on them. So this is a like a sort of limited edition um splattered um, Simon that. and Mary one. And I mean, it's all that paint and stuff on it, and oh, that's my <laughs> nope. <laughs> um so. <laughs> Um, so yeah, this is uh, this is this is something that's been pretty cool to um, experience in terms of um, that approach from brands. And now I've been in a fortunate position where I can start to shift and uh, sift a bigger part and through which ones I really want to work with and which ones I don't feel so you're suit me. Shoes now. Yeah. Because you're that famous. No, you're no, that no, famous. no, no, no. It's just um, it's leading towards <laughs> maybe one day being at that point. Okay. I see you on that point anyway. <laughs> um, just a last few questions. Who inspires you in terms of your fashion? Since we are a fashion and lifestyle blog. Yeah. yeah. Who inspires um, you? you know what? I've, I've never firstly wanted my style to be categorized or boxed into anything. I've always tried to be able to be um, malleable and flexible and um, versatile between being... Um, punk or street or hip-hop um, or just classic English gentleman and you see that in my suits yeah. um, um, and um, I think it's the everyday man that inspires me mm -hmm. um, and then you I mean just just from seeing people walk around and seeing what they wear and how they you know um, and how they wear their things I'm always quite interested and I always take an extra look and I find things that I like about certain outfits here and there or whatever no, 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 no. I think I think when it comes to that, there's only like a handful of people um, who I would uh, really just um, give two takes. You know, um, I am not necessarily inspired by them, but I love I love how they dress. Um, people like Tom Ford, who's incredible, um, and he just keeps it clean and simple and classic, um, and he never goes wrong. And even with his clothes that he puts out. Um, people like um, Shaka Meidu, um, Sam Lambert, the guys from um, Art Comes First, um, and then of course Kanye as well. He's oh, got yeah. a nice, we all love Kanye. nice, um, <laughs> nice, nice style about him, yeah. and um, yeah, a few others. And it's just that whole general look. But I also love the grunge and mixing that in with everything else, you know. So yeah, I I, I like to be inspired by as many things around me as possible, but. Oddly enough, you know, whenever it comes to my style, it's always quite, um, no matter what I, wa what I wear, whether if it's, um, um, as I said, like, suit or, like, um, punk rock or whatever, um, it, I always make sure that it's um, neat and geometric um, and that it has some sort of 
um, some sort of flow running through it. Um, I mean, so it's a theme. Right? Yeah, not really a theme, but just a, this flow that runs through that somehow um, that that the clothes talk to each other. Yeah. Um, so in a very odd way, I'm inspired by architecture in a very big way when it comes to my style. So I find myself, I'm, I'm an overly observant type of person, so I find myself looking at things and how that could be changed into clothes or into how you wear things or um, how you see yourself. So it's, it's always fascinating, you know, and, um, you know, the, the small things which you can take into consideration um, and look things in a different way and you might um, surprise yourself with what you can come up with. Well, that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to follow him on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and make sure to subscribe. <laughs> subscribe. And make sure to like the video and leave a comment down below. Until next time, want to say bye? Cheers, guys. Thank you very much. <laughs> I was going through Melissa's Muse tweets. Now I'm good. <laughs> you killed that. There we go. You want to do it again with me? Since you're on Instagram, do you want to follow us? I'm being blackmailed. Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> it's Muse. Let's go to Twitter. Fine. You're not still running the cameras, are you? You are still doing it. <laughs> One every day. How do you... Um, B, it's like delicious, but with a B. Oh, okay. Yeah. And Muse, M U S E. Beatrice Tandy Banda. Yeah, boy. Mm. So you want me to follow you, not actually delicious Muse. Actually no, no, not actually. Say, I am. There we I go. Am.